thank you very much for this uh, for this kind introduction. Uh, can you hear me well uh, there at the back? Yeah. All right. And uh, thanks a lot for inviting us here to give this talk. Mm. So as you already know, uh, Impact Tech is a community of people excited about combining profit with purpose. I was sitting here in the first row and I could feel it. Mm. And this talk is exact, excuse me. Uh, and this talk, this talk is exactly about uh, profit, purpose, and technology, and how we try to combine this triplet uh, at Origin while coding against Casper. Let's start with purpose and the underlying motivation for Origin's existence, actually. So uh, here is the re reality. Uh, worldwide cancer cases are projected to increase by 50%. From 40 million new cases in 2012 up to 21 million new cases in 2030. Whereas worldwide cancer deaths are projected to increase by 60% from uh, 80 million to 30 million. Mm. Although the uh, average, average annual cancer death rate is slowly decreasing, still these are projection and many things need to be done. One, uh, one reason for such a mm, poor condition is that cancer drugs are, are ineffective. Uh, when you compare effectiveness of cancer drugs among different classes, you will see that uh, ineffectiveness of cancer, uh, cancer drugs uh, Mm. It, it, it is uh, pretty high, and it's actually t twice. Uh, cancer drugs are actually twice as ineffective as uh, as antidepressants. Uh, where we would like to make a impact? Uh, where is our contribution? Where our our aim is to make the cancer drugs, cancer treatments, uh, more effective. Cancer is. Um, complicated disease with many underlying factors mm. and the one-size-fits-all rule does not apply here very well. Precision medicine is the way that works much better in this case. What is precision medicine? Precision medicine, roughly speaking, is delivering the right treatment to the right patient at the right time. It's no longer about uh, delivering the right treatment for a disease, but rather the right treatment for a particular person. In the ordin ordinary situation, having a bunch of, bunch of patients mm, having similar symptoms, they receive the uh, same treatment, same drug. Uh, the the uh, case is, is to uh, differentiate between responders versus non-responders. The rough idea here is to find certain features that, would, d that uh, would discriminate one group from another. Having this information, one can then uh, select the right treatment or, uh, uh, or actually make the right treatment such that the effectiveness of the therapy is, is much higher. And the uh, overall mortality rate decreases. Our, our mission is actually heavily embedded in, in precision medicine. Through our know-how, experience and products, we support life science and healthcare towards precision medicine in oncology. Mm. In order to successfully implement precision medicine, um, in reality, one needs to bridge the gap between IT and uh, life sciences. Why? Because precision medicine needs a lot of data. One needs to know how to gather the data, store, process, model the data, and you need to know how to, m uh, how to draw conclusions out of it. 
at Artigen after now uh, over two years of existence we 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 are a team of 50 almost 50 individuals experts in um, many areas like molecular biology computer science mathematics the next generation sequencing is considered to be the major technology that is f fueling this growth mm. but of course as as this is a great uh, way of generating super important and I informative data one needs to one need to process it and and here bioinformatics and machine learning uh, techniques are are doing the job uh, we see major uh, major restraining factors related to data um, to storage access and and privacy issues that are um, that are slowing uh, slowing this growth as for the major regions, there is, uh, of course, North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, and uh, major application segments. This is mainly oncology and immunotherapy. Excuse me, immunology. Uh, this is super uh, important to us as uh, our services are mainly focused on the US market, whereas our products uh, that we are developing are, are focused. Uh, on um, oncology, in particular in uh, immunotherapy. During the first year of, of Farigen existence, we've been mainly developing the services, uh, services related to bioinformatics and, and data science. This gave us business partners, knowledge, experience, and money that uh, now is being reinvested in, in R&D. We are putting more and more um, resources there uh, and, and developing bioinformatics pipelines, solutions, algorithms aimed at improving effectiveness of immunotherapy in oncology. Uh, Piotr will tell you more about our products. I would like to focus more on, on services. When it comes to services, we, um, we currently collaborate with uh, over a dozen of companies, mainly from the um, from the Bay Area. These are usually well-funded by the startups. We also collaborate with academia and medical institutions like uh, Harvard Medical School or Boston Children's Hospital. And when it comes to Europe, we we work with uh, three big pharmaceutical companies um, from the uh, from the western part. Uh, Piotr will focus more on bioinformatics. I'm a mathematician. I would like to give you some examples of uh, of, of data science project that we uh, that we did. Mm. We've been over a year now. We've been working with a client uh, on improving the properties of a diagnostic platform for complex immune mediated diseases. Here we've used uh, computer vision algorithms uh, for information retrieval, and then in, in the next step, machine maximizing the accuracy of uh, diagnostic tests. Another super in, in, interesting project that we did was uh, related to detecting metabolomic signature of depression. We have been looking for biomarkers. And here we've, we've applied statistical learning and, and feature selection methods. Uh, another project was, was focused on finding links between neurobehavioral disorder with symptoms and, and brain regions. And here we've been analyzing thousands of uh, relevant research papers um, and, and we've used natural language processing tools to, to get the... Uh, okay, I got it, thanks. Uh, in order to better understand where um, where the services and products are, are targeted, we also need to have in mind something that we've already seen, so the uh, drug discovery process of big pharmaceutical companies. With, with our services, we are mainly here uh, at the early stage of basic research. Um, we here work in a full-time equivalence model. We, we, we uh, provide uh, uh, teams of usually data science, 
is developers that work on a specific problem um, in a specific period of time. Um, here we closely collaborate with, with our clients to, to provide the, the, the best possible solution. And this model works pretty well here as uh, almost of all of the projects are uh, um, have, a, have a decent research component in it. When it comes to our products, these are mainly targeted at the cl clinical trials stage, which is which is one of the most uh, um, expensive and risky um, zone, let's say. And here, uh, one of the aim is to actually make this process cheaper and faster. But uh, details will be explained by, by Piotr. I give the floor to him. Thank you, Michal. Um, I hope that thanks. I hope that by now you uh, believe, like we do, that Argen is capable of much more than just providing services, and uh, to uh, provide products and be uh, the best in the world in something, we need to focus very much. So uh, we decided to look in uh, our mission of precision uh, of advancing precision medicine for oncology and uh, also use the market research and our experience in the market for the two years to localize the area. And uh, we went from life science and health care to precision medicine. We know that immunotherapy or immuno-oncology is a very hot field. And uh, we identified the peak uh, that we can uh, attack uh, to, be, uh, to improve the success rate of immunotherapy. So, for those of you that don't know. Immunotherapy is basically the idea of using our own immune system to fight cancer. So you do it every day by fighting different infections. Uh, you do it every day even to fight cancer, but normally uh, the balance is on your side and cancer cannot win. But when the balance is overcome and uh, cancer spreads throughout the body, uh, we are doomed. And um, it has been proved that there is a way to boost the immune system and uh, change the balance back to our advantage, which was proved by very uh, spectacular cases of uh, complete remission in six weeks from a metastasized, metastasized cancer uh, spread through all body into uh, nearly no sign of the disease, fully capable of work and enjoy his family. So. Uh, this is a uh, really uh, beautiful idea and really uh, great, uh, uh, great target to pursue. However, there is ma one uh, big problem with it. Uh, only 30% of people that get immunotherapy actually respond to it and get cured. The other ones don't improve. So uh, we decided to look for uh, potential ways that we can improve that uh, situation. And the first thing that comes in mind is the employment of precision medicine uh, creed, which is to find the right drug for the right patient. And our first product is dedicated to uh, provide um, companion diagnostic platform, uh, which is basically a companion diagnostic test that person gets before it's uh, assigned a therapy and I will talk about it in details in a minute. And the second way, uh, second product is uh, something different. Uh, we thought about people that uh, will be identified as potentially not beneficial uh, from immunotherapy at all. And uh, there is a scientifically proven way that uh, our own uh, microbiome or the bugs that don't us in our gut can help us and change the way we react to different things around us. And that will be our second product, product which is a um, platform for the development of uh, live biotic products. More in details about the first product, which is uh, companion diagnostic. So it's called AI Immune, and it uh, basically utilizes uh, all the things you've heard about so far in this presentation. Um, we would use um, this file really, really likes to join Ardigen. Okay. <laughs> Um, we will take a sample of uh, cancer and uh, healthy tissue and uh, produce uh, next generation sequencing data out of it. Then we'll 
employ bioinformatics and machine learning algorithms to actually be able to predict the outcome of a particular immunotherapy that would be applied for that patient. And based on that, we'll be able to stratify and select the best uh, option for a given patient. And using, uh, using that approach, uh, we'll realize the right drug for the right per person. Um, uh, increase the response rate uh, of all the people that will get immunotherapy. Um, more about microbiome, it has been proven scientifically so far that it not only uh, lives it with us on, or on us all the time, uh, but it's actually beneficial. It influences uh, the way we uh, develop and how our immune system uh, grows with us, and it uh, has been proven it can be manipulated for our advantage and uh, most of all it has been uh, scientifically proven that um, uh, specific uh, strains of uh, bacteria can change the way we react to immunotherapy in particular uh, move people from non-responder to responder group which is really exciting so uh, our platform uh, will be uh, based on that again we'll use uh, next generation sequencing data obtained from uh, pool of people that went through immunotherapy or, uh, or actually that are going to go through immunotherapy and based on uh, uh, noting the, the outcome of the immunotherapy will be able to again utilize uh, bioinformatic tools and machine learning algorithms to uh, discriminate and find the possible uh, bacteria that help the people that responded to the therapy and uh, therefore we'll be able to uh, uh, grow a precise cocktail of the, or the mixture of bacteria that is necessary for some people to react uh, to immunotherapy. So this will be a kind of a supplement they will get next to the immunotherapy that should improve their chances of uh, remission. Of course, there is a competition in the market. Uh, a lot of people know it's an exciting area. A lot of people want to uh, join in and take advantage of that. There are companies that develop uh, similar technology that we need for uh, our research and products. And, and there are also companies that, that want to create drugs based on uh, microbiome. Uh, some of them uh, have the same technology or want to develop the same technology but uh, for different purposes like Gridstone Oncology wants to uh, provide cancer vaccines. Uh, some of them uh, just focus on uh, known uh, probiotic strains and trying to uh, use them or engineer them in a way that they will be helpful. Um, what we think is our advantage is that we will use uh, more precise modeling of all the components of the uh, interaction between immune system and cancer and also we'll be able to develop and we are developing genome-based predictions of uh, properties of the probiotic uh, strains and also by that we'll be able to replace high throughput laboratory process which is uh, uh, which takes a lot of time and is uh, very expensive we will replace it with in silico computational work so, is it hard? Yes. Is it risky? Of course so. Is it worth it? At Argen, we believe so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.